George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to be talking about the cost of networking SSDs. Flash memory SSDs, we use those to address performance problems uh, in, in the environment. And we've done a lot of talk about different ways we can bring down the cost of that, technologies like compression, deduplication, densely packing uh, memory, things like that. But one of the things that doesn't get a lot of attention is the cost to network uh, this, uh, these devices. So let's draw a quick network up. Let's say we had a few servers that needed uh, performance acceleration. So they were on, today they're using a regular hard drive uh, based system. They're on a storage area network. And so we need to improve performance and we want to move from a hard drive based storage system to some sort of a flash device. Okay. The problem is that the performance difference between this device and this device is substantial as is the latency. There's almost no latency here where in the hard drive system there's tons of latency. And latency can hide a lot of other problems. So if you're, if you're, uh, you have a lot of latency here, the fact that your network might be slow uh, is less of an issue. But now if we move to an almost zero latent environment, the speed of this network can become the next big bottleneck. And so what do people do? Well, the first thing they do typically is upgrade this, this uh, segment here. Well, if you upgrade that from, say, uh, four gigabit to either eight gigabit fiber or 10 gigabit ethernet, you also, of course, have to upgrade the switch. If you upgrade the switch, then you're probably going to upgrade the connection back to your flash device. So that costs money. Uh, the other option would be to put a lot of connections into the device, but again, that consumes up more ports, and many of the flash devices don't have many ports at all. What we think is a, a really good way to address this problem is to actually build the networking directly into the flash device. Uh, so I have a multi-port switch here. In the case of Skyera, sponsor of this video, they have a, a multi-port one gigabit uh, connection. And then what that allows you to do is make multiple connections directly to the flash device, bypassing the traditional SAN if need be. The advantage of doing that is these can all be trunked. Most uh, hosts don't need the full performance of these 10 and uh, 8 gig and 10 gig segments. So we can trunk them, put them into the switch, and then be in very good shape to uh, take full advantage of the flash device. The big thing though is we've really driven down costs. Uh, four uh, one gig connections trunked together are going to be far less expensive than a single eight or ten gig connection. Uh, and the cost of either upgrading or networking the switch is uh, removed because now it's included with the flash device. So this allows you to really scale out and provide flash storage to more servers in a very, very cost effective fashion. And it allows you to avoid the cost of upgrading the network and things like that since it's all built in right here. Uh, you could also uh, certainly uh, figure out that, that this makes a simpler deployment. I don't need to involve special networking people and everything. I'm basically doing shared direct attached storage. So an ideal way to uh, bring down costs is to integrate networking into the, the flash device. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland.